In this tutorial, let's look at how to use the calendar class and uh, play with dates. Um, Java has introduced a calendar object to be used whenever you would want to do this kind of operation. So let's start using the calendar object now and see how we can use a calendar object. Test calendar object creation, let's say. Creation. Okay. Calendar calendar or I can say calendar or uh, day one is equal to a uh, new Gregorian calendar okay. Let's make sure we get it right. it's Gregorian calendar so now uh, I can actually import the calendar also. If I do a control one, you can import java.util.calendar. This is how you create a date using calendar. I can even pass in parameters to represent the year, month, uh, and uh, the date. What I want to do here is create uh, the day for 15th August 2011 so let's just uh, do that and just check if the date is currently represented so equals uh, I would want to do uh, I would want to first get the day so I would get say date dot get so it's not date anymore it's day one dot get the way uh, the calendar represents it is by constant so you have if i want to get the day i have to say date the, the calendar dot get uh, calendar dot day of the month uh, i want to get the uh, date so i can use this so 15th would be returning back as the date so let's run this success that's good so basically like i'm able to create the calendar object and get the days from it so and there is no deprecation so that's even better now let's go ahead and say uh, i want to find out the year so no more custom coding saying i have to use 2011 minus 1900 the gregorian calendar represents the year as it is so day one dot get how do i get the year is through calendar dot year so let's now go ahead and run it that's great so what you see is uh, this test succeeds so the value which we have checked is right um, the other things that I would want to uh, the other methods which are offered by um, the calendar object are uh, the first one is week of the month uh, the week of the month is actually I'll leave this empty for now and say get calendar dot week of the month that's actually in that particular month so in August what is the number of this week so 15th August it's the third week of August so let's check if this is right perfect that's good so if I want to get which in which week of the month is a particular day I can use the Gregorian calendar and do this to get the week of the month and let's uh, let's now check a little more stuff on the Gregorian calendar day one dot get I would want to now get the week of the year so which week of the year is this so in 2011 August 15 falls in which week number so that also you can find out using week of the year uh, i've already done my homework and i've counted the week of the year for august 15 it's actually the 38th week of that year so i'll put 38 in here and run the program yeah please say and sorry i'm wrong actually it's the 34th week of the year so let's just go ahead and run the program it runs so um, the calendar object the 15th August is the 34th week 
of that particular year and you can also get the day of the year so let's see which day of the year is 15th august so what we can do is just say actually it's i think it's the 250th day but let's see what java gives me or what this program gives me the calendar dot day of the year so if i pass this in and runs it it's actually the 227th day so let's get that right and run the program so um the calendar object is very useful to find out information about a date you can get once you create a calendar object you can get the day day uh, of the month or day of the year or week of the month week of the year anything that you'd want to find out about that particular day the other methods which are present in let's go ahead and create another test method let's uh, now try to find out how i can modify a date so we can see test calendar date modification so how can i modify the date i'll just copy this stuff out again so i'm just creating the same day again what you can do is actually set day 1 dot set date so you can use the set par set method to set let's say i want to change the uh, date from 15th to 21st i can do that using calendar what the parameter which i want to change is the date so i want to change the date right now it's 15th i want to change it to 24th i can do that using i can do that using the date one dot set method if i want to change the month that's good too i can change the month to using calendar dot month and i would change the month to 8 and let's run this test it succeeds because we don't have any tests in here i would want to check whether it's a different date so i'll say assert equals uh calendar dot uh day of the month or i would want to find out the day of the year i know that the day of the year for this uh month is 227 so probably the 24th of august or the 24th of september uh would be somewhere around 30 days uh yeah 30 plus around 9 days 39 days addition to 227 so i just i it's not the exact one i'm just doing a rough calculation so it would be let's now run this Uh, it's 267 day so i just want i'll calculate this is 40 days after the previous day and run the test so that's how you can modify a date actually you can even add days to a particular date let's just test that to uh, i want to test calendar date addition so i want to add let's say a uh, five days so i have 15th of august i want to add 5 days so i can say day 1 dot add calendar dot date 5 days and uh, since this is a 227th day uh, since i have added in 5 when i do a day 1 dot get i should get 227 plus 5 that's 232 let's just check that so that's good so now our date addition is working okay so that's basically how you can modify uh dates using a calendar object and how you can create dates how you can add some number of days to the dates it's also possible to add months or years like similar to this actually you can say day 1 dot add uh calendar dot let's say uh month and i would want to add one month to the date so that's possible too uh 
probably I've the since I've added in one more month, probably I would think it's around 30 days. So it should be either 262 or 263. Let's check what the value is. So it's 263. So it's possible to add months. Obviously, it's possible to add years also to uh, to the same thing. Instead of using calendar dot month, you can do calendar dot year, and you can add one year to the date. So there you go. That's all the methods which you have in the date object sorry in the calendar object which you can use to create dates in java we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time